Hey guys, welcome to Chrono Cross, the Radical Dreamers edition. I know of Chrono Trigger, I know Chrono Cross, and I believe Radical Dreamers was like the in-between game, which only came out in Japan or something. It was like a visual novel, like it didn't make any sense. Let's see what's up. Two worlds cross in the triumphant return of this RPG classic. Just make a new Chrono a game. A remaster damn it. of the acclaimed oh, RPG Chrono Cross is coming to the Nintendo Switch system. With its 120 characters. One fateful day, the protagonist Surge wanders yep. into an alternate world. Yeah, it looks very really nice. Though it somewhat resembles his home world, he finds that he no longer exists here. Oh, that's pretty really cool. How that's did cool this effect. happen? What is this mysterious another? Everything's world? like a painting. Travel back and forth between both worlds to unravel the story. Over 40 characters can join 40 your characters. party. I was close. Depending on the choices you make, the allies who accompany you and the endings that trigger will differ. Trigger. A number of improvements have been made to this remaster. Links? Like the ability to turn off enemy encounters and a newly enhanced soundtrack. Oh? Plus, soundtrack is good though. Dreamers, yeah. Originally released on the Satellaview is included. Yeah, the Satellaview like... Experience the origins of Chrono Cross in this text-based adventure. Like only like in Japan Chrono or Cross, something the and Radical Dreamers edition or something like that and slashes its way onto Nintendo Switch April 7th. I mean, it was like one of them Pre satellite games. One of them satellite games near like a satellite. I think that's what it was. You like a special like console and you could only play the game for like an hour or something insane like that back in the day, you know. I don't know. They had like some crazy ideas they were testing shit. So, I'm a huge fan of Chrono Trigger. I think it's one of the best RPGs of all time. I actually played it back when I was a kid, so, you know, like it just blew my mind. I wasn't too huge into Chrono Cross. I found it to be very easy. There is a lot of characters, but a lot of them don't have any like real stories, so they're kind of like just out there. When in the first game, every character had a very specific story, and you know that was like really in depth and whatnot. So not a huge fan of Chrono Cross, but having the Radical Dreamers edition, that's pretty cool because you know a lot of people uh, didn't experience the Radical Dreamers game. Again, I think it was only in Japan, or you need like a satellite console, like some weird ass shit to like play this game. And it was a visual novel, uh, so you know it's like it's just text mostly, you know. But that's really cool. I'm happy they're actually bringing this out. Um, man, I hope it does good. I would, I would buy a, I guess fourth game in the series at this point, um, a modern Chrono game. You know that would be pretty freaking awesome. But you know we'll see how it goes. But this is pretty cool. Thank you for watching, guys. Peace.